DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. is up mixers welcome back to another episode of the mixin vixens today is the awesome review day my name is emily also known as mill icon and let's say hello to our other vixens and guest judges first of all we have fresh what's happening hello Hi. hello and then we have dave also known as id10t hello Present. hello hello We've got Lumi. Hi, Lumi. Hi. We've got Fulkart. Hello, Fulkart. Hello. We've got Rin. Hello, Rin. Hi. And all the way down there, we have Jen. Hello, Jen. What's up, everybody? How is everyone doing? Fabulous. Couldn't ask for more. Everyone having, having a good uh, weekend? Not long enough. Not long enough like they all are. Never. Yeah, they're all kind of short, aren't they? Yeah, it's nice. almost over. Ugh. And then Mondays for me are the hell day at work. So it's yeah, me too. kind of work I do builds up day to day. So we are off Saturday and Sunday. So it doesn't stop while we're not there. We're just not there. So Mondays I come in and I mean, we're lucky we get a lunch on Mondays. But then, you know, because it builds day to day on Fridays, we get done around two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's whatever. Mm. Well said, Lumi. Well said. <laughs> We're excited today because <clears throat> we had the boys choose one mix, whatever they wanted from each of us. They're going to kind of rate it, critique it, review it, let us know what they thought. We always like outside information, so this is, this is always a fun, fun show for us. So, who do we who do we start with? Who's the roaster? Who's the roaster? Who's yeah, going what, the what, what is the process to start, here? You ready for it? We I'll don't really first. have a process, Dave. I'll go first. There you go. Lumi. Oh, Lumi never goes first. <clears throat> All right. Uh, who wants to dig into Lumi first? I can dig into Lumi first. She's my. I I see Lumi every day of the week, pretty much. So. I, I figure I figure I figure I figure that uh, my watered down appearances in her life will allow me to allow her to uh, forgive me quicker. <laughs> All right. I got next. All right. So um, I did I did one mix from each genre from each from each mix. And so Lumi, you wound up with the manly creams, unfortunately. <laughs> I forgot about that one. The manly creams. Um, so that one was it had uh you That's did, the one I, I did too. You did that one too. Yeah, I, I think we might be on the same wavelength with this one, um, just based on our interactions as far as recipes get gone, Dave. Um, this has tremendous mouthfeel. Um, yes, it, it's, it is. Yeah, it's 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 a full it's a full vape. Um, nice level of moisture throughout. Um, that's thanks to the ingredients you use. That one-on-one -on -one marshmallow vanilla is is one of the best mouthfeel flavors out there. That sweet kind of that sweet coconut you use kept things all it kept things nice and nice and uh, moist. I know how much Rin loves that word. Um, I think this recipe really would have benefited though if you had picked between your orchata and your eggnog. You you put mm -hmm. both of them in and kind of the cross contamination of the spices in the two, it kind of, it, it gave it this weird kind of funky spicy off note, even at 10 days worth of steeping. 
Uh, I was hoping it was going to steep out because it kind of had this at the start. And then today when I tried it right before the show, I was, I was crossing my fingers for you, Lumi, that this, that the, that, that weird, that weird interaction between the orchard and the eggnog would have, would have gone away, but it didn't. And I think your recipe really would have benefited more if you'd picked either orchata or eggnog and just ran, just ran it into the ground and went hard in the, hard in the fricking paint with it. Um, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not a bad vape. It's not going to be a hate vape. I'm, I'll certainly finish the bottle. Um, it's just there, like I said, there's just kind of a weird off note because of the, because of the, the choice to do both orchata and eggnog. That's all I got on it. Can, can somebody post that recipe in the chat? Um, right. I want to see what it is. I've got it open. <laughs> I can post it in the chat. I've got it open too. If you want to go, if you want to go, Dave, I'll post it. Okay. You do that. I fresh wants it to be less busy. I want it to be more busy. Um, but I'm with you on the mouthfeel for sure. I chose this recipe because, and I used the very last of my bottle of eggnog to make it. Um, I'm missing the uh, pineapple lassie for her Nana pineapple recipe. I'm missing TFA caramel candy for the creaming nuts. That's on me. I should have that. I don't know why I don't. And I didn't want to use, I didn't want to mix the MV salad because it has in a way a raw pineapple in there, which is gross. Like, why would you use that? <laughs> That's disgusting. Great pineapple, Dave. Uh, <laughs> what do you expect? Fresh told me to buy it. Guess who bought it? Yeah, it's pineapple licorice, man. That's mm -mm. no. I'm good at um, but the recipe, the the manly nilla recipe is uh, it's really nice. I enjoy the the cinnamon and nutmeg right on top. The base is really thick and creamy and smooth. Um, <laughs> there's a touch of starch from the horchata that's almost hidden in there. Um, I try to imagine what it would. It doesn't really. It's not really analogous to anything that I've ever consumed, but sort of like drinking the leftover milk from a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. If you had used eggnog with vanilla instead of milk. Yeah. Cause the eggnog would be the, the um, thickness and the nutmeg, of course. You know, all of the flavors were used effectively. The drier ones um, were made moist. Whose favorite word is that? Mine. Yeah, okay. Plenty moist. It's my favorite word. However, it's Rin's worst word. I see. Uh, the the top heavy ones have, you know, the base is filled out. It's sweet. I thought it was delightful, well-rounded. Um, I couldn't really find anything to complain about. Um, I just wanted to make a suggestion that if you're going to call it manly, Maybe try leaning in a little hard on that and adding a tobacco to it. Gah, gross. I think what it'd be great. I, I love the tobacco. idea. <laughs> I love the idea of a little bit of flavora Turkish in there. So it'd go or really well with those spicy top I don't notes. Understand though, like bourbon I already, would be manly. I already hit the mouth feel, the very full mouth feel. So I already hit the manly note. Just saying. Oh, that full mouth. Okay, yeah, and it's nice and creamy too. <laughs> so I got nothing else. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Uh, that's where she was going for, I think. I didn't use well, Lombus Red, so let's give me a little round of applause. Yay! Very nice. Okay. Uh, Fulcar, what did uh, you mix up of Lumi's? Okay, so I did not mix that one up of Lumi's. What I mixed up was um, the Lumi Nana Pineapple. Uh, Lumi, you want to go over that recipe real quick before he gets into it? Uh, I don't know what it is, so we'll have to give me a moment to find it. I can I can read it off if you want me to. Okay, yeah, just as long as they know like what's in it while we talk about it. Oh, oh, it's in chat. I found it. All right, what are we what are we going over? No, that's the manly cream. I think that's in chat. That says Nana pineapple. Yeah, oh, that's okay. the one I mixed up. Oh, okay. What am I going over though? Just the recipe. What what you yeah. use? Oh. Yeah, just just kind of tell me what you were going it a for. Bit. Yeah, because uh, there's not much of a description. I don't remember what the image was either. <laughs> <laughs> what was the image like? Oh, it was it that was that bowl, like that glass of. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
So, yeah. Okay. I don't even really know what I was thinking, but I used Hankson's banana at 0.72. Um, banana custard by Vape Train at 1.87. One-on-one -on -one marshmallow vanilla, 1.48. 2.94 mulberry pineapple lassie. 0.63 powdered sugar by one-on-one. -on -one. 3.64 liquid barn vanilla ice cream. 0.89 vanilla pudding. I think I was just going for a cup filled with pudding marshmallows and banana and pineapple okay uh did, did anybody else mix this up dave fresh no okay you're on your own bud all right so um i have to say that this is the first time that i've used hansen banana um and to be honest i, I don't think i'm a fan of it <laughs> <laughs> how much of uh, it was in there uh 0.72 that's not that's not too much no it's it's not i mean um i know ha a lot of ha hangson flavors are strong some of them are not uh, but that seemed about right but for me um so right the hangson banana was just it's too it for me it's too green it's too green um the recipe just looking at it looks like it would be a fantastic banana ice cream kind of custard thing going on. I love uh, vape train banana custard in there. The um, pineapple lassies is one of my favorite pineapples. Uh, of course, the liquid barn ice cream is perfect ice cream for this kind of thing. But the Hanksing banana was just getting in the way. It brings like a, a bitter greenness to it. And it was hard for me to, to really uh, taste much more than that. Um, I did get a little bit of the pineapple but the banana was just kind of getting in the way and just overpowering the mix. Um, yeah. So that's, that's really about all I could say. I mean, it's, it's not a bad, it's not a, a bad list of flavors in there. It's just that banana was just wrong for me. Um, so I would, I, I would probably suggest maybe going with a different kind of banana or something like that. I love Hankson's banana. Really? <laughs> Well, I mean, and it could be just, I mean, it could just be me. It could it's, be just you. Some people pick up cream notes that the general pop doesn't. So might be. That's, that's why I don't really think it's overripe. Like, like F.A. is really green and Hankson is like really ripe to me. Like mm -hmm. sometimes is, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was just, it was, it was just bitter for me. I, could, I don't, I just, I just couldn't get past it. Maybe my taste buds are just screwed. <laughs> everybody has different taste buds like sure. for me i couldn't get over the cooling and the pineapple lassie i absolutely despised them i was like oh god what can i do to hide this shit because i focused in on that pineapple lassie and i was like oh mm -hmm. get that out of here yeah and that's that's a, another thing that i've i've seen in a couple of different things and there is a little bit of coolant in there but most of the time uh it's pretty easily covered up but i was actually getting it pretty prominent in this it was just it's like it was it had a, a coolant in it yeah, but for just just for me, I would I would I would have mixed it, and I probably should have done this before the show. I mixed it without the the Hankson and just to see see what it would do. But I just I didn't have time to do that. But that's my review. I'm sorry. Very nice. <laughs> There's no need to be sorry. Everybody tastes things differently. I don't take yeah. any offense to anything. I love it that folk art is the brutal one here. This is like <laughs> show three with this setup, and folk art is always hammering in on us. Oh, Fresh went in on my horchata eggnog combo, and I absolutely <laughs> love that. Yeah. I like horchata and egg eggnog mixed together too. Okay, so who's next on the whipping post? I'll go next. I'll leave these last two to, to be last. That way I can get <laughs> mine over with. Okay. okay. I well, did uh, the Exotico. Exotico. Did you, guys, did you guys mix that one too? The cereal? You picked a different profile for each person, didn't you? I did, yeah. Oh, why don't you go ahead? I did the I did the uh, the cereal. 
which was the the abstract painting one. Uh huh. Um. So you had a great serial note. I'm not a big guy. I'm not a big serial guy. I don't don't dig serial vapes, but there was a really pleasant serial note to this. Um, and that was that fruit circles, uh, breakfast cereal combination that you did. It's a great combination. Um, and then it kind of turned the, uh, the, the berry, the berry citrus mix that you had that was really well balanced. Uh, thanks to that Mullenberry, which Mullenberry did you use? I forget. Um, I've got to pull it attitude. Right. Yeah. Attitude. attitude. So there was a, there was a great mix of like, of, of kind of a kind of a mixed berry and then like a mixed citrus vibe going on. So it turned out to be almost like a, it was it, the, the, the flavor kind of came down to, it was nice and milky and creamy, but there was a, it was almost like, almost like uh like just straight Cheerios with a, with a fruit blend on top, which worked, it worked, it worked really well. Um, it was really well balanced. The flavor was really the flavor was really nice. Um, I don't have a whole lot more to say about it. I don't think there was anything I could any life advice I could give you as far as what that as far as what you could do with that. Um, just because it, it did turn out to be really well balanced on on both the cereal side and the fruit side. So let me it was, go over what I used in it so yeah, that everybody yeah. in, in the audience would know. I used five percent attitude, which is a berry blueberry kind of mixed with a little bit of, it, they say caramel, but I find it's just a cream note, a back cream mm -hmm. note and not really a caramel. Uh, almost almost Bavarian creamy. Yeah. yeah, I don't find that it's actually a caramel. I use breakfast cereal instead of Capella's um, Cereal 27 uh, for no reason, just because that's what I had in front of me at that time. And I just needed a little boost of a cereal note. And I don't like the citrus note to be so upfront and breakfast cereal from FA is darker. So it kills that citrus note, but not to the point where you can't taste it. But it kills the bitterness from the citrus note for me. Yeah. And bitterness is, I'm one of those tasters that anything with lemon in it, the lemon fades and all I'm left with is a bitter note. Mm -hmm. um, I use creamy milky undertone at 1%, Capella Fruit Circles because it's non-offensive cereal base for me. Um, FA Meringue and T TFA vanilla custard too, because it's a darker vanilla custard. And I only use 1.5%, but it was just to give it, give the, you know, I'm not sure what it, it, give it a vanilla note in there. So it's a fruit blend that you can taste some vanilla in the milk. You know, I drink coconut milk all the time and, and um, that, um, almond milk and stuff like that so i would that was the kind of milk i was putting in it because it doesn't this the picture just has all those colors in it so i wanted to bring out the colors but i wanted to get it creamy yeah and that's a it, that's always a good trick when you're working cereal milks is to add a little bit of some sort of custard to it um because when you get your cereal milk and you're down at the bottom of the bowl the cereal milk always feels thicker right and it always feels richer than normal milk so that's it's a it's a, always been a really good trick um, the meringue is at two percent because it also kills some of the lemon notes, but it, it helps this grain in the cereal. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, it into bread or into a cake. And I think that I think the breakfast cereal was a really good was a really good choice with this particular recipe, especially since you're using fruit circles, which can have some a little bit of off notes to it. It's not bad, but it has some. It has a few or fruit circles, right? Fruit circles. Yeah, it's from the one from Capella, which is a lot less offensive than the one from Flav, uh, TFA. TF, yeah, TFA is pretty terrible. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, the breakfast cereal was a great choice to enhance it. So I don't, I like I said, I really don't have any. I don't really don't have any life advice as far as this goes. It's a really pleasant cereal vape. You got a good, you have a good cereal milk going, and it's really well balanced. Thank you. I don't even vape cereals anymore, but I used to. I was on the hunt for a really long time, so I have like all this experience with absolutely every cereal and then they were just sitting here. So when I saw that, I was like, Oh, hold Let's on. I can, let me use that. Next. Who's next? I think she knew I was going to do the Exotico. I did. <laughs> I figured you were, it, when I heard you were coming on, I was like, Oh, I know what Dave's doing. Well that, and there was a mistake in it. And I was like, I don't know what to do here because it said Flavora Cherimoya on the recipe and in aware in the description, but you fixed it since then. Yeah. 
That was, <coughs> it's what's on the description. It's just when I, you know, when you down arrow on all the flavors. Yeah. If you don't do it, if you're not paying attention, it's easy to mess up. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I messed up. Sorry, guys. Can you want to go over what you used in this recipe, Jen? Yep. I'm getting it pulled up right now. Let's see. I've got Exotico. So with Exotico, I used 27 bears at 2.5%. Um, because it is a pineapple, but it's not a in-your-face strong pineapple. I used Cherry Moya from Inawera at 2% because it's like a pineapple... And everybody says banana, but I don't get a banana, but it's a watery mix that also has mouthfeel. It's not a candy. It's sweet. It's just really good to me. It's tropical more than anything. And I don't know that I say I find, I, I don't know how people taste banana. And I don't like banana. So maybe it doesn't have the type of banana I don't like. And that's what I'm looking for when people say it has banana. In it. It's because it's weird and people are searching for something to, to relate to. And it's the closest thing. Okay. Well, that makes sense, sort of. But I don't you know. find it's a banana per se. Um, then yeah. I have coconut from FA, guanabana from um, Tolora, Madagascar vanilla, Vienna cream, and sweetener. Um, you know, basically my cream note, there's a dude in some cream in there. Everything in here is white of some oh, yeah. sort, right? So cherry moya, 20, 27 bear is the white gummy bear. Cherry mm -hmm. moya is green on the outside, but the pulp inside is white. Coconut is white on the inside. Guanabana is white on the inside. But I guess Carvanella has had to throw a little darkness in there because he's got some tan skin. And, <laughs> and Vienna cream. So I'll tell you one thing that I'm sure Dave is going to ask me about. If he doesn't, I'll find it extremely weird that he doesn't ask me why I use ethyl malto and sweetener from Flavor West, but if you look at the picture, the cream that the dude is laying on, the fruit cream, let's say, is kind of watery, right? So it's not a milk, it's not a, it's not a, a cream, it's not a heavy cream, it is watery. So I wanted to give it that airy yet dense feeling to it. And that's why I use both those types of sweeteners at 0.5 a piece plus. I, he looks sweet to me, so. <laughs> I wanted it sweet on the inhale that. and sweet on the exhale. I feel like you guys brought me on to be mean because you just like it and <laughs> really letting y'all down. It's it's hard to be mean about any of these, but um, yeah, so I didn't have the peach yogurt for one of them and I still haven't tried cap fruit circles. Um, the creamy pecan cookie that you made was really, really tempting. And I almost wish I had chosen that one. Um, but I picked Exotico because I picked that milkman guy floating in the bathtub full of something white and creamy for others. And I wanted to compare like different interpretations. You clearly put more thought into the interpretation than, than was, I mean, was, that's a lot. Um, I'm glad I did because it's very nice. Um, it's refreshing, um, not too heavy but still creamy, uh, fruity and exotic, just like the picture, just like you said. Um, it's got a nice kind of dankness to it, a little funky. Dank. Yeah. Yeah, it's got it's got a little funk on it, but it's got a it's got a creamy feel without being too heavy or too funky to be refreshing. Is so that that's sweat? nice. Is that is that dirt he's washing off, you know what I mean? <laughs> I see. <laughs> is that that good good? I don't think that guy's ever gotten dirt on his, in, on him in his life. Um, <laughs> it uh, it's got a little tart pineapple right out on top, a little touch of vanilla, something kind of like a strawberry, which I get from the guanabana. Not a, not precisely, but something similar. A really thick base of like coconut and pineapple, maybe really ripe apple something like a banana all sort of mashed together it's very sweet but without crossing the line the, i think you did it was really effective with the ethyl and the sweetener well-rounded all like the whole thing is wrapped in sweetness but not too much um the only criticism i really have is that it's really just uh flavora guanamana and inaware cherimoya with parts of those flavors like enhanced and highlighted and then a little touch of vanilla 
um so there's yeah. not really this is really just personal preference not so much as like bashing the recipe but there's not really anything special or memorial mem memorable about it yeah it's, it's just not, it, it's one of those recipes that you can vape without getting tired of it but it's not one of those recipes that you're going to make consistently all the time but it, when you need something for a change it's definitely good for that for something different. oh yeah i'm certainly it's like it's one of those recipes i'm going to be happy to finish it it's good I like it. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm not going to run out and tell everyone they have to go try Winstead's Exotico. Right. Um, and then like I did with, that. you're okay with that. <laughs> That's about it then. There there are some recipes out there that use those flavors, uh, the Quinomena and the Cherimoya, where I'm like, yeah, you need to try this. And um, I wouldn't rank this among them, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not special. It's yeah. really high bar to be <laughs> something that people go around raving about. Right, and, and I'm, a, I'm completely okay with that. You gotta figure, we make a recipe every single week to turn in. So they can't all be bangers, but you know, as long as it's pleasant and it's in that, you know, in that range where people can mix it up and vape it, you know? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no, there aren't any ingredients here where I would be like, why are you using, you know, you have a platform. You have a lot of people that listen to you. And I would hate for you to like make them buy a terrible ingredient to make something, even if you use that ingredient effectively in the recipe and it wasn't terrible anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. But all of these things are like useful staple items that mm -hmm. people can buy and use. So there's really nothing to be critical about here. Well, thanks Dave. Sorry you couldn't brag it's, on me this week. It's, it's pleasant. It's a very pleasant recipe. And I like the interpretation of the picture that went into it. Yeah, sometimes I think in pictures, like my brain, when you when people say it's why I can't watch scary movies, because seriously, I see a movie in my head when I'm thinking. So when I saw the picture, I was like, what's this look like? Same thing with the cereal. I think in pictures. So I'm translating the picture into flavors is what I do for real. For the recipe to have that full creamy mouthfeel without being rich is it's very nice yeah that sounds good it, it's something that you could vape in the summertime and not be like oh sick like a yeah and you can definitely add ws23 to that and still be pleasant because i didn't intend for the creams to make it creamy i wanted them to add some vanilla notes but not a thick cream note you know what i mean yeah. no it worked really well it's a fruit more than anything it's just an undescribed tropical fruit mix With a little bit of dirt. Very nice. 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 <laughs> hey Dave, sorry you're disappointed that you couldn't uh, couldn't roast her. I really wanted to like you know what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you know, and, and there's not. We'll leave that to folk art. He's great at it. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not actually. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. He's the he's the uh, sneaky roaster. All right, what yeah. you got, folk art? So um, Jennifer's um, recipe, I mixed up the creamy pecan cookie Ooh. for only only one reason, because it had the kanaki soy in it. I okay. wanted because I've never really played around with that flavor. I've smelled it. I've back of the hand tested it. I've single flavor tested, but never really used it. Um, I was just kind of curious to see what it did in this mix. And um, I wasn't let down by it at all um the the description do, do you want to talk about it before i get into it yeah i'm looking for it i'm okay. i'm it can i have to go page by page to find it let's see where it's at okay um um i thought i entered it in here oh i did but it's on page one okay hold on okay i can also in. go to discord it's in there it's in here I can post it in the chat if you want, if you want me to. I have it up. Yeah, I'll do that because I'm still struggling. No, um, James already put it in the chat on YouTube. So if you want to just click on that link. Okay, I got it. That's with you guys are not using the pictures. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> um, I used the Bavarian cream. Butter pe Flavor West Butter Pecan, F.A. Cookie, Flavora Kanako Soy, 
meringue and sugar cookie. So the star of the show is a sugar cookie. And, you know, everybody jokes around that everything we make is going to be sugar cookie. Well, you know, everybody also should know by now that I'm not the best at making bakeries. So I have to go with what's easy. And I guess that's also good for the viewers because if it's easy, it's easy and, it can, and it's going to work. So I use a sugar cookie at 4%. I used the butter pecan at 2%, which is very creamy and nice um, butter pecan to add it. The kanako soy at 0.1. I just use a tiny bit of that kanako soy to boost the nutty notes in it. An FA cookie at 0.5 to boost the cookie. I mean, the kanako soy boost the pecan and make it a more flavorful pecan sort of. And then the, the FA cookie is for the sugar cookie to boost the cookie notes. So everything in here, e even though it's one, two, three, four, five flavors, works with each other. And the meringue is just a sugar in the center. The butter pecan has cream in it, so it's a, a creamy center. Also, that plays together with that meringue. That that was my idea. That fake um, Bavarian cream brings in some more cream. I think I succeeded in getting the bakery notes out of it, but I taste bakery is pretty strong, so it's hard for me to be judge my own bakery notes. Okay, well, I am a baker guy, and this is a great bakery. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, <laughs> so uh, the, the description says that it's an ice cream cookie. Uh, I assumed that you were wanting an ice cream flavor in this, right? Yeah, in the center. Yeah. The butter pecan. No. Uh, that's what the Bavarian cream does, and mm -hmm. the cream in it. Well, I was, I was, I was impressed that I was actually getting an ice cream vibe from this without any ice cream flavoring in it. Um, I think I haven't found a single ice cream I do like, so I, I always have to build my own. Yeah, I, I think I think that the sugar cookie with the uh, with the meringue, um, and and the and the Bavarian cream, I think that makes a really nice ice cream flavor. And it's not it's not full, you know, in your face ice cream, but it, you do definitely get an ice cream vibe from this. The star of the show here of this recipe is the pecan, though. Um. I was blown away, actually, by the way the kanaki soy made that pecan taste like it really did work. It worked very, very nice. Um, the cookie has a really nice crunch to it. And um, like I say, it has those kind of back notes of ice cream in there. And um, the, the soy almost adds um, like a savory, savory kind of note to the pecan. Does that make sense? Yeah, like like a, a real like it's like you're getting little chunks of the pecans mm -hmm. inside the ice cream. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it's just like you, you can almost taste the pecans in it. Yeah, I, I was just really impressed with this. Um, it's it's full on pecan, roasted pecan, a nice cookie crunch with just uh, like a back note of ice cream in there. Very well done. Uh, very unique way of using flavorings. Good job. I like the idea of using the kanako soy, just a touch, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I try to use it with any nutty, anything I'm making that's nutty, because mm -hmm. I, I find that everything that's pecan or peanuts or anything like that tastes so artificial that the kanako soy just brings the right amount of naturalness to it to make, bring it into the natural side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was it was really difficult to get a half a drop of Kanako Kanako soy in there, <laughs> but I did. Um, but yeah, it, it worked it worked really well. It was nice. I was very impressed. Very impressed. Sounds good. Awesome. Yay. What? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. No, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Seriously, anytime I turn in anything that's bakery, I'm like Yeah. You did <laughs> really sad that none of us humiliated her. Yeah. When I come in these shows, I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to assume that everybody hated everything and just yeah, I'm like <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was really impressed. Thank yeah. you. All right. Who wants to go next? Ren, you want to go or do you want me to go? The thumbs up from Ren, so I guess we're doing Ren. Yeah, I, right. I was muted. Yep. So, uh, Rin, I did your tropical cream, if you want to go over that one real quick. Okay, so for this, I was just looking for, like, a tropical smoothie type thing. 
Um, I used 1.5 Wonder Flavors Banana Puree because I wanted that soft banana. Um, and that one leans more realistic to me. Uh, 2% Mullenberry Greek Yogurt, which admittedly I don't get much of, but uh, it does boost to me the pineapple because um, it's like a little bit tart. 1% uh, Funky Pineapple by Mullenberry. 1% Flavor Art Mango Indian Special because it's my favorite mango because um, it's a little bit sweet and a little bit funky without being too funky. Um, half percent Flavora Sweet Coconut to make it a little bit more tropical and 1% Wonder Flavor Vanilla Custard just to boost like the creamy note in like the yogurt. Yeah. So the main thing I, I, I really like about this was the yogurt that uh, you put together, the Greek yogurt and the uh, Wonder Flavors Vanilla Custard. Of course you did. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Fresh 03 liking yogurts. Um, and I, I really, really dig the the Mullenberry uh, creamy Greek. I think it's a I think it's an awesome yogurt. Um, it's a shame you don't get more out of it, but the the combination that you came up with with the uh, with the two was that was an amazing yogurt uh, with the Wonder Flavors vanilla custard and that and that um, the creamy yogurt. So um, I'm going to that that one's filed away in my head for for recipes for later. Um, I thought the fruit combination was pretty darn good. Um, the banana, the pineapple, you got just a hint of coconut using it at a, at a half. It, it's, it was pretty much buried, but it, there was enough there that you're like, oh, okay, there's a little, little something there. Um, I think everybody knows me and mangoes don't get along all that well, but you did use mango well in this. Um, and it is, it is a pretty darn good mango. I still get a little bit of foot off of it. Um, so the only thing I really have to say is about this mix is, if I redid, if I went back and redid this mix, I would probably just leave the mango out and I would just go with everything else that was in there and I would be incredibly happy with it. Um, for people yeah. who are like me that get that, they get the, the funk of a, the funk of the mango always comes across like foot in a vape. It's just, it's just not going to work. Um, I know there's a few people out there like me that that's the case. There's very few mangoes that I like. Um, but overall it's, it was really light. It was really refreshing. This is something that could be like an ADV for somebody. Um, really, really nice combination of fruit. I could see, I could see where the, where the pineapple is enhancing the mango and the mango is working well with the pineapple. And then you have banana kind of wrapping the whole thing in a nice smooth mix. Um, overall it was a really, really good, really, really, really nice tropical mix. Um, the only thing I would do differently is drop the mango. Yeah. I, I actually mix this one up too. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah. So as a mango lover, I love this. This is great. Um, and mango Indian special is probably my favorite mango. Now it's got um, this, you know, fresh is, you know, you don't like mangoes, but for people like them, this is a funky, sweet, super ripe mango. It's just, it's just delicious. I love it. And the way the pot my favorite mango too. Yeah. Um, and the way the pineapple adds just a little bit of acidity to it, it just, it just works for me. It's really, really nice. Um, I'm, I'm like fresh. I, I don't get much of the coconut, but I don't care. Uh, it's just, it's just really the, the star of the show for me here is the, the mango and the pineapple. I, I don't get a tremendous amount of creaminess from it, but that's okay. To me, it's more of a fruity vape than it is a cream vape. But uh, yeah, it's really good. The banana for me is there, but it's not overpowering. It just kind of sits in the back, kind of like Fresh said, kind of wraps everything up. But it's super delicious. I love it. Thanks. Yeah, I didn't want to use too much coconut for like people that don't like coconut. Plus, for me, if I push it too high, then I get like reminds me of like a suntan lotion. Not that coconut in particular, just in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wanted the fruits to be more prominent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a it's a super good <clears throat> recipe for me. For a, Omar, a what's wrong with you? You haven't you haven't done what you usually <laughs> y'all y'all are stepping up. Y'all are stepping well, up. We don't know He's what the saving his fire for Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you're in deep do. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, you're scared, aren't you? You're I just scared. tell I just tell it like I taste it. You know. So, I literally only had it, one choice it. of Rin's recipes without ordering stuff, which of course I wasn't going to do. And uh, that was the fruit taffy. 
So I almost missed that one. What's that? So I almost mixed that one. Yeah, um, I'm glad I did. It's very, it's perfectly pleasant, plenty flavorful. Looks like it might not be with the low percentages, but then you see the two and a half cap strawberry taffy, and that's plenty. And the rest of the stuff just accents it really nicely. Um, did you want to uh, introduce or talk about that one, Rin? Yeah. So basically, I just wanted a fruity candy type thing. Um, what picture was that supposed to be? Since there's not a picture on the recipe, that yes. was. I ain't putting the damn pictures in there. <laughs> Guys, it's the point of the show. Look, I post my pictures on time or my recipes on time. So <laughs> I did what Ooh. I organized everything. Give me some slack. <laughs> Shots fired at Jennifer. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. The fact I even get my recipes on all the flavors being so different, you guys are lucky. So this was the uh, abstract one. Okay. So like to me, when I look at that picture, I see like fruit with like a cream or marshmallow type base. So it's like a marshmallow taffy fruity thing. Again, kind of abstract like the picture. You got that. You made a marshmallow chewy taffy thing. <laughs> yeah. um, it's it's kind of so, like kind of like Winstead's recipe. It's not something I'm going to go raving about, but there's nothing really to complain about either. Um, yeah, it doesn't have much identity, I would say, um, but it doesn't seem to claim to have one either. It's just called fruity taffy, and it's just a fruity taffy. So what can you you know? The, the Capella Strawberry Taffy and the Flavor Art Marshmallow makes a really effective base for that. Yeah. And then it's got some top notes added, uh, which it would need. Um, and they sort of smoosh together into something unidentifiable aside from it's fruity. Um, I guess I would say in order for it to be something pleasant, better than pleasant, it is very pleasant. Something better than pleasant, it needs like something on top to be something relatable or at least <laughs> more interesting in order for it to be it's something else. so she was just going for the picture well then it needs something to be more interesting so if you're not going to go for relatable then more interesting um in order for it to be something that i'd mix again but it's not something that i feel like i like i wish i hadn't tried it it's good we got a nice tasty bottle of juice here what more do you want? You guys make these, like you said, you made these things every week. It's not like you have time to mix a bunch of different versions and pick the best one and, uh, you know, make new versions of that and pick the best one of that. It's a weekly recipe thing. So for that, I'd say it's pretty good. Thanks. I really, I do like the way that that, um, the citrus soda is used to kind of like make it gives it a little extra on top um so it's full flavored like it's well rounded it's not just blah um i don't know what else to say i kind of want it to be something but since you, it was an abstract picture i don't know I, don't, I want it to be something crazy then it's not crazy <laughs> it's a very nice pleasant juice Something that somebody could vape all day without getting tired, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Unless they, I mean, yeah. they might get bored, but they're not going to get like, overwhelmed <laughs> or disgusted or any like really strong negative feeling. They just be like, okay, well, I've enjoyed this. Lovely. All right, nice. Emily's next. <laughs> all right. Hey, Emily. I'm so, next. Emily, I did your butter pecan uh, ice cream cookie. Okay. Um, so it's you have a nice rich ice cream with, of course, with that toffee ice cream. Absolutely. Well, do you want to go over the ingredients before I get going? Yeah, sure. Um, let's see here. One second, guys. Uh, yep. Lemon Khan's butter pecan ice cream sandwich. I just did a uh, one percent jungle flavors biscuit, three percent one on one butter pecan ice cream, two percent vape train cookies and cream. And 3% vape train toffee ice cream. Yeah. So with the butter pecan ice cream and the toffee ice cream, you get a really nice 
rich ice cream flavor. Um, I really like that the butter, the butter pecan ice cream um, took the, the jungle flavors <coughs> biscuit from being a really nice butter cookie and turned it into like a really brown cookie um, is what I got out of it. Like a really, like a really rich brown cookie. It was, a, that was a really, really nice touch. Um, and I, I, I enjoyed the, uh, there was kind of a caramely overtone through the whole recipe, which I also really enjoyed. Um, it's simple, it's straight to the point. I don't, it's delicious. I don't expect anything else when I mix an Emily recipe, like simple, straight to the point and delicious. Um, but there's always, there's always something underlying that I, that I enjoy. And in this case, it was the fact that those, that those, uh, that that combination of flavors turn that from just a regular kind of buttery it's not a boring cookie but it turned it into a brown really interesting cookie um and so that's what i that's what i got out of the out of the particular recipe and yours i actually did remix because i had gotten another flavor in and i was like all right i'll try this i'll try this instead um and i think it i think it really added something to it i and i switched it out uh the one-on-one -on -one butter pe uh, butter pecan ice cream to um, Perlium's butter pecan praline ice cream, mm, and I almost used that flavor. Yeah, the the pralines really the pralines really added something to it. Like there was a there was an extra level to that uh, to the butter pecan notes. So okay. you get a if you get a chance, mix with that. I will um, and then the other the other thing I did is I added a uh, half percent of butterscotch ripple, um, just because I, there I did pick up those caramel overtones. I was like, well, I can I can throw. A little bit of butterscotch ripple in and that's going to help with just add like a little bit of layer of richness to those caramel notes and it turned out to be kind of the kind of right but it, that was more than four ingredients and there's no way you would ever do that but <laughs> i took it up you know i took it from four to six, uh four to five ingredients and um so that that's the choice for anybody out there emily always makes really good really good recipes that are that are simple and straight to the point but there's always you know the underlying complexity that that you expect but there's there's always room to add a add a thing or two i found and um so after adding those things i'm like i'm like it's it was a really really good recipe but there was room for there was room for a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh flexing your mixing muscles on that and um yeah so i i it's an awesome you, recipe. I just think I just I, I I just found that there there was a little bit more. There was an extra step you could have gone, and I, I get why you I get why you don't do that a lot of times. But in this case, in this case, it, it wasn't a whole extra lot, and, and it really added something to the vape. So that's what I got. Okay. Oh, I guess I did, yeah, it must have been something else. I guess I don't have the butter pecan praline ice cream. Did you use the same percentage? Yeah. Yeah. Same exact I'll percentage. Pick that up. Yeah, and it, like I said, it, it took that butter pecan like it just went from being like the the one on one butter pecan, which is absolutely outstanding. It added it added almost like a uh, like a toasty richness to it. Nice. So yeah, it was it was just it was just I had that flavor sitting around. I was like. Ah, go for it so switch that out and then just add that little bit of that little bit of butterscotch ripple and that just like i said just added a added an extra layer that wasn't there so but the original recipe is absolutely fantastic i think that i think that uh i think that brown cookie note i think that's a really that vape train cookies and cream and then everything i, I and that toffee ice cream, I think that worked really, really well together. And then the butter pecan ice cream, maybe to just like, if I'm going for a brown cookie later, maybe I'll just use that. And then instead of the butter pecan ice cream, I'll just use the butter pecan. Yeah. So I think that, I, I think the brown cookie that you came up with was absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I think it's really cool that her recipe inspired you to create more with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. that's what that's what happens a lot with Emily's recipes is that you're like, ooh, what if I added this to it? And and if it doesn't work, you've still got the original simple recipe and her her recipes always work. I always love Emily's recipes. So Aww, thanks, Fresh. Yeah. Did that leave me? My last I did uh, the soaking oh. milkman. 
Do you want to talk I, about I, that one? I, I did that one too. You did? Oh. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go ahead? Okay. So first I have to say that I am straight, but that picture, oh my God, that's a beautiful right? man. That's a beautiful man in that tub. You're comfortable <laughs> enough to admit it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, um, so Emily, do you want to talk about it before I get into it? You're a beautiful man. <laughs> yeah. I'm the most beautiful man here. So let's all just carry on. That's right. Lumi. You tell him. Yep. I did uh, the soaking milk man. So I did, uh, this might surprise for Ash, but I used a few flavors on this one. Yeah. Half a percent F.A. Almond. One and a half percent one flavors Bavarian cream. 1% Favor cream, 0.75% uh, EM, 0.5% TFA malted milk, and then 2% Wonder Flavors vanilla cream extra. I just think uh, EM and creams go well, pretty well together. Just mm -hmm. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming that this is probably more like a layer or a, a base that you would add whatever other thing that you want to add to it i mean it's good it's, it's good on its own but mm -hmm. um but it's to, boring it is yeah it's it's just kind of like a layer like a, a cream base yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh it's it's very tasty i really like it it's it's very mellow and it's very accurate to the description. This is a, um, a vanilla almond milk. Um, the, um, I'm just reading my notes here. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, it's, it's not, there's nothing like super exciting about it, but it, it really is accurate to, to what it says. I can see this being used uh, with like coffees or caramels or chocolate maybe even like um some kind of uh, rice crispy cereal or a cinnamon crunch cereal i don't i don't think this is the type of milk uh base that you would want to use with like fruity circles uh anything fruity but i think it would definitely work with um or earthier kind of things but it's it's very tasty on its own um yeah very mellow very smooth what do you think dave I think you're going down pretty soon. What? <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> I just remembered that we were both about to have uh, peanut RY4 recipes. Oh, yeah. Uh, one That's shots. Right. And then That's everyone right. is going to realize how much better mine is than yours. And then you're <laughs> not going to be invited oh, to do shows like this anymore because oh, wow. no one's going to want to listen to you <laughs> because you okay. failed. I failed? <laughs> yeah. No. no, I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I just know that mine is better just by, I can just look at it. <laughs> I don't even know what you were thinking. Um, no, actually Emily's recipes, but I think this is really tasty. Um, it's a bit of a stretch as far as interpreting the picture. It's not as, uh, they're not the direction I would have gone. I think that Winstead did a really good job that by comparison I was looking for the vanilla to at least be a little bit brighter and more floral. I mean, that is a vanilla flower that he has in his mouth, I'm assuming. It looks yeah. like one, but something like vanilla Tahiti, something like that. But I'm not mad. I prefer it the way it is. I just wanted to say that it, it was a really loose interpretation of the picture. Um, it's really good. I can't wait to finish these bubble gums and re-wick and, and enjoy some more of it. Did you just call Emily loose? Uh, her recipe? What? Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <clears throat> the profile was nailed, just like Folk Art said. Um, malted vanilla milk with a touch of almond. I would also add sweetened in there because it's it's really quite sweet um, all the way around. Uh, very full flavored. Doesn't have any off notes. And that little touch of almond really takes it over the top. Um, it's got a nice, sweet kind of brown sugary malt on top, like the inside of a Whopper. And then you get that little touch of sweet almond, and then there's this really rich, thick vanilla body, creamy, and it lingers. The, this creamy sweetness lasts, which I really enjoy. Easy I was mellow. I go for, like, you remember Verve's almond milk? 
Yes, that's one of my, that's my, that recipe is my Zen recipe. I know, right? I was kind of going for that. I was trying to, you know. It kind of worked. Maybe that's why I've been kind of worked up lately. And maybe that's why I'm looking forward to getting back to yours because it's relaxing. Yeah, it's very um, mellow. It's pleasant. There's nothing exciting about it. And you can use it to add different things and different flavors. But if you wanted to vape it on its own and just kind of sit back and relax. Oh, I'm definitely going to vape it on its own and sit back and relax. But when I do, I'm going to be thinking about what I might add to it. Um, Good. You know, and you you didn't advertise it as a complete, you know, finished recipe that I would be able to say is missing something. You said you could use it as a base for your favorite toppings. Mm -hmm. And I can totally see that. And when you put that in there in the description, then I'm not disappointed and I don't feel like it's missing something, you know? Yeah. It like yeah. set your expectations. You My know? expectations were set and met and exceeded actually, because it's really pretty tasty all by itself. Um, Is it a comforting vape? Yeah, it's comforting. Very. It's not quite as, um, as the almond milk, um, <laughs> but it's really comforting and it's sweet and easy. Mellow is the word I want to use. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I'm just going to sit around imagining what I might add to it and probably not add anything, but just think about it, you know. Um, I would caution against bright fruits like citrus or acidic tropicals, but something like toffee or caramel, mm -hmm. butterscotch, any one of those sounds like it would be really good. Um, I wonder if it would go well with a, a blackberry or a dark berry. I that I wouldn't. I wouldn't caution against it as much as I would citrus or like pineapple or something. But I still don't. I don't think about dark berry with it. We should add it to Bayless. <laughs> Chocolate sounds really good. Except then I'm really gonna feel like I'm just vaping a glass of of Whoppers soaked in milk. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. With that. <laughs> like, I, couldn't hit, I couldn't hit my unmute button fast enough. I was like, "Dude, what's wrong with that?" Yeah. You want to pretend it's like one of those boba drinks, but instead it's just whoppers instead of just the whoppers instead of the tapioca balls. It's whoppers. <laughs> I'm gonna add some uh, some vape train uh, hard crack toffee to this. Oh That's yeah. That's right. Yeah, like I said, toffee yeah. would be good. Um, mm -hmm. I think maybe banana wouldn't be bad. Banana would be good maybe. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, strawberry might work. Hankson's banana. Hankson's <laughs> banana might be fine. If, you like, mix, if you like that kind of thing. I'd probably do Hankson, boy. Yeah, or that. <laughs> oh, I would yeah, even like to see how really it good. mixes with like a cookie or a graham cracker. So a crushed peanut cream? I mean, that doesn't sound terrible. No, yeah. it's, it certainly doesn't. All There's crushed so many different ways you could cream? go with it. Um, I think it would uh, go good with a cinnamon crunch cereal too. Yeah. Yeah. It sure would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's about it. I would like to see some experimentation on the favorite topping. I mean, it inspires me to want to do things with it, but I feel like Emily has like a moral obligation now to do that. <laughs> she's the one who put it out there that you could use it as a layer. I'll just you know? come out with a, a milkman line of just all different flavors using that base. I think you should use that base and make like five or six and let us know which ones worked and which ones didn't. All right, maybe I'll do that. I feel like it's your job to do that now because you, All right. you know, you created I think it's this your thing. job. I, I think it's your job, Dave, to tell her that, that it's her job, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. It is. So, and since I'm Dave not, said so, now you have to, Emily. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly right. Everyone has to do what I say always. <laughs> and right. um, and I get to check back with her every week to make sure. That <laughs> yeah, he, can't, he won't let me forget it. You're He's, like, Emily, did you try other things with the Milky Man yet? Did you try it? Did you try <laughs> it? I'm never going to stop. I wouldn't recommend bubble gum with it. That doesn't sound no, like a good idea at all. But you know what? Toffee's coming up. So, yeah, toffee would be really I might excellent. try all the different toffees I have with it. There you go. Which <laughs> toffee Milk Man are you going to make? It, the, 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 the inside of the Whopper thing really reminds me of like going to a soda shop and getting a malt. You know what, Emily, that's probably a great idea. You should probably just mix like a 30 mil of this, depending on how many toffees you're going to single flavor test. Yeah. And then, and then just dump your, dump, you know, finish filling your bottle with this mix in it. The base. Yeah. I might do that after I test them. Yeah. And that way you can vape all those toffees, even if they're awful. 
There you go. <laughs> There's a plan. Yep. Oh, I, I think it's a really my favorite recipe that I tried this week for this. Awesome. Yeah. You're not supposed to have a favorite. No, I'm just well, I, I'm allowed to have well, a favorite. Well, he does, and it's me. <laughs> I'm not really that good at supposed to anyway. Telling me I'm supposed to do something is probably the most best way of guaranteeing that I'm going to do it. That you're going to you're guaranteeing that you'll do the opposite. If you tell me I'm not supposed to, pretty much. <laughs> yep. You know what they Are say? you a Leo? No. Oh. I am. I am. <laughs> oh my God! You both Leos. Yep. yep. That's fine. So, do me and Fresh get to pick our favorites? Sure. No. Sure. Uh, oh, now, now it's okay. Now that I've done it, it's okay. Well, it's already been done. Hey, so, I mean. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to have to pick uh, Ren's Tropical Cream. I really I really like that. That was uh, that mango in there. I just love that flavor. Probably my favorite one was the, the butter pecan ice cream cookie. Of the yogurt, it, it had mango in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is kryptonite. No, lychee's my kryptonite. Oh, next one I'll do lychee. I won't mix it. <laughs> <laughs> when Flavor Art put out that Indian mango, me being a mango lover, that was like, that's it. I can stop shopping. I mean, <laughs> stop shopping for mangoes. I'm done. I can make any of the other mangoes I have into it to give it different layers, but I found my base. Yeah. That and uh, just a touch of Flavora mango really works good if you want a kind of a more kind of natural. I'll tell you what worked really well with it um, was, and I don't like Philippine mango. On It's just not a great mango for me. It's too candy-like, but adding it with the flavor art mango it gave it that sweetness that it's missing and balanced it out just adding a little bit of that philippine mango plus it gave me something to do with the philippine mango <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. well guys thank you so much for coming on and giving us your thoughts it's always good to see you all and and get kind of some outside feedback about our recipes and you know suggestions of how to improve it what we did right and stuff next week is uh, we're starting a new round of pictures so james if you want to show what we're doing next week i believe they're called it's like a snack cake i think they're called zingers yeah is it the red twinkies kind of yeah red it's like a red twinkie oh I love that. raspberry marshmallow coconut hey i'm gonna help you guys out coconut i'm gonna help you with that recipe okay, okay. vape train sweet cream oh yeah I'll the, even further and let you guys know that fresh and i have made several zingers now so yep. is it cherry or raspberry raspberry, raspberry. raspberry. is it raspberry okay yeah. all right okay it's raspberry and that stuff on the inside is vape train sweet cream well, yeah, absolutely, yeah. But the one thing I'm not too excited about is the outside coating. The it's not coconut. powdered sugar; it's coconut. It's coconut, yeah. It is coconut. My, that was that was one of my favorite pot foods. And I don't even have like desiccated coconut or anything that's like a coconut flake type flavor. So who knows if what you I'm close thinking. your eyes just a little bit. It kind of looks like powdered sugar, just it, right. I'm or white chocolate. <laughs> I might be loose again and just do uh, white chocolate or, or powdered sugar. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take our sponsors and get on out of here. Yeah, you've got some mixing to do. You need to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Flavora. Thank you, Bull City Flavors. Uh, flavors to go .ca. Uh, Scott over all the flavors for letting us hooking us up with an account so all of our recipes can be conveniently located. And Wayne, thank you so much for putting us on your podcast network. We really appreciate it. All you guys watching now and in the future, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Much love. Everybody have a good week. We'll see you next Sunday.